everybody, it's time for today's comedian. Please welcome back to the show, Steve Bjork. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for having me back, Steve. It is, uh, it's always good to be here. Uh, better than where I was today. I actually found myself in the supermarket today. Uh, I don't belong there. I'm not qualified. Mostly because I'm married. <laughs> Single guys, they have a great time in the supermarket. They do. Single guys have a ball. They got their cart. They're running around. woo Cheez-Its, Frosted Flakes, you hoos <laughs> Not married men. We walk in with a list. <laughs> We're accountable for everything on that list. <laughs> I hate it when the list includes uh, cold cuts, because I've recently discovered that I have a nemesis at the, de at the supermarket, and that's the deli guy. I'm telling you, I see cold cuts on that list, I'm like, crap. Now I gotta go where they keep all the unhappy people. <laughs> so they do, they always tuck it way back in the store, right, it's behind some kind of cheese display or something. You finally get there, you see 40 people milling around, <laughs> waiting for service. There's one guy behind the counter, he's got tennis elbow and conjunctivitis. <laughs> They're serving number 15, my slip of paper's got the symbol for infinity. <laughs> Here's where it becomes particularly annoying. I place my order for whatever. Guy slices it up, puts it on the scale, and I get this every single time. A little bit over okay. <laughs> what do you think? Go ahead, make an educated guess there, Goober. I'll tell you what, I authorize you for the whole rest of my order. If I order a half a pound, go right up to a pound, I don't care. It's not gonna go bad in my house, I promise. Yesterday, I was in the supermarket, and apparently on that particular day, they'd sold a whole lot of turkey breast. Because when I placed my order for a half a pound of turkey breast, I got this. I'm gonna have to open up a new one. <laughs> so go do it. What the hell are you telling me for? I have to go get peas in a minute. I wasn't gonna burden you with that information. <laughs> I don't know, is he trying to talk me out of it? <laughs> well, I don't want the fresh new one. <laughs> you sure you don't have an old crusty one hanging around back there somewhere? Look in the way back. Maybe there's a moldy end and I can just gnaw on it while I'm shopping. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> Is this strategy working for him? I mean, at some point, the manager's got to get some kind of sales report. Oh, man, we are not selling much turkey breast this week. Well, we didn't want to have to open up a new one. <laughs> Customers seemed okay with it, except for that one big guy. <laughs> then, there's, then there's the other end of the store, and that's the bag boy. Now, apparently, he's all ticked off about his occupational choice. He's going to take it out on me. Let me paint the picture for you. I'm in line. I got a full cart of groceries. It's my turn, so I take all the items, I put them on the belt. My job is done. Now, I'm left to occupy myself. To my left are the gossip magazines. To my right, a six foot tall rack of candy bars. <laughs> now, it may not surprise some of you to hear that every once in a while, I might succumb to an impulse. I'll grab a candy bar, I'll throw it on the belt. That's the last thing that gets to the bag boy. And I get this every single time. You want this in a bag? Now let me translate that for you. Do you have a shred of self-control whatsoever? <laughs> Do you think you could possibly make it out of this building without shoving this in your face? Yes, put it in a bag, please. Give me a little bit of dignity. Look, we're not fooling anybody. We both know that by the time I get to the trunk of my car, I'm gonna be rifling through those bags like some kind of crack addict, but give me a little bit of dignity. I mean, has anybody ever done that, ever? Had a full cart of groceries and said, oh, don't put it in the bag. I want to carry it. I'll let everyone know I got a treat. It's a Snickers. You want this in a bag? No, do me a favor, will you? Open it up, shove it down my gullet before my debit card finishes processing. Could you do that? And after you finish opening that up, go help the deli guy. He can't open nothing. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Steve Bjork, everybody, we'll be right back, right after this.